Hi everyone, this is Rachel from Magnet Manila. Today we're going to talk about the three different kinds of magnets. We have the neodymium magnet, the ferrite magnet, the black one, and the rubber magnet, the flexible one. Okay. So let's talk first about the most popular magnet that I have, which is the neodymium magnet. So it's popular because it's one of the strongest magnets available. Um, it's also called an industrial magnet. So in case you're wondering, a neodymium magnet is spelled out like this. And there are lots of terms for it. It's the strong magnet, neodymium magnet. Sometimes you'll see it being called as the nd fed magnet. That's because it's composed of neodymium, um, iron, and boron. And sometimes it's also um, being called as a rare earth magnet because it's being produced with rare earth raw materials. All right. So how strong is this magnet? Um, we're going to cover that in a different video, uh, but for this video, I'll give you an idea like in terms of grade, how strong it is. So the grades available are from N33 until N52. This is the weakest available magnet and the strongest grade available. So for this specific size, you can have different strengths. And this is the strength level. So by default, if you buy a magnet, a neodymium magnet, and it doesn't tell you what grade it is, by default, it's usually N35. But we're working on um, having all our every single magnet upgraded to N42 so our magnets are above average in terms of strength so where is this being used usually it's being used in industrial machines in generators in computer hard disks those old ones um, also uh, when you want to create free energy generators you can try this one's being used because it's strong so this is the ferret magnet. It's usually color black. Um, it's also very brittle. I accidentally cracked it, so it has these little ferrite powder in it due to the crash. So a ferrite is sometimes called a ceramic magnet. It's usually very heavy, but in terms of strength, it's like compared to the neodymium magnet, it's not as strong, which is why um, sometimes you see it being used in fridge fridge magnets like this one, uh, which will be used to create something like this. Yeah. <clears throat> so usually these magnets can only hold a very light object such as this fridge magnet. Okay. So a ferrite magnet is also termed as a ceramic magnet um, and usually it's being used in fridge or speakers okay, so that's the ferret magnet and in terms of strength uh, usually these um, basic ferret magnets are of Y10 grade which is very very weak it can only hold very light objects like maybe 50 grams the grades we have in our site is Y30 pH, which is also above average, which is maybe as strong as a small neodymium magnet already, unlike fridge magnets. But it also means it's dangerous, uh, more dangerous than a fridge magnet, and shouldn't be played with by a maybe two year old child. Last but not least, we have the rubber magnet. As you can see, the size is being used in photo papers. When someone prints out a photo, you can put it here and you can stick it on your refrigerator. This is much um, weaker than your fridge magnet. So, and it's usually more cost effective and you, you, you can use it to keep objects from slipping off surfaces. So actually there are two types of rubber magnets. So in terms of strength, uh, by default, all um, rubber magnets are very weak and it's usually the isotropic kind of magnet. 
There are, however, stronger rubber magnets, such as this magnet. This magnet that we have is an, an anisotropic, which is a lot stronger. Uh, three of these can already create a knife holder. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to find out more about magnets, hit the like button below or subscribe to our channel.